What did you get in major trouble for doing as a kid? And did you ever learn your lesson? Um, I used to get in trouble for talking back. Mm. No, I never learned my lesson. <laughs> Anytime I don't like anything, I'm gonna speak on it. Mm -hmm. And like, it's kinda, it's getting me in trouble. Is it getting you in trouble or is it causing people to be uncomfortable? It's causing people to be uncomfortable. These are conversations we need to have and you're gonna have them with me. So, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, should I ask you this one? Are you looking at all of them? Should I? <laughs> one go. If I didn't have my current job, what would you see me doing? So if I wasn't a teacher? I get like animal, like you'd be doing something with animals. You're so right. Really? <laughs> oh wow. Yep. Will we be friends in 10 years? Oh, I'd like to think so. I want to be invited to your wedding. What I'm wedding? saying that right now. I'm just gonna pull one, I'm gonna ask you. I don't okay, care. cool. <laughs> what would you never hire me to do? Oh God. What would you never hire me to do? Probably yell at somebody. Like, oh, really? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think like you could be an assassin or anything like that. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't hire you if I had like a group of very sensitive children. <laughs> Yes. Because you just like to roast and like you would probably make them cry. So, you know, I agree with that. What's your biggest insecurity as a teacher? That I don't do well enough with students who are like um, special ed or need extra supports mm -hmm. that I don't notice. For me, one of the things I'm hyper focused on is who's around me when I'm talking to a certain student. So like, cause I can't have no allegations, <laughs> if you will. Mm -hmm. um, I actually did get hit on by an 18 year old at the mall just the other day. I'm sorry. And I was literally, I literally had to say, oh, you were way too young. I literally work with your age. <laughs> Describe the first time we met. What was your honest first impression of me? Do you even remember? I honestly can't remember the first time. It was like probably the first, I mean, it's the first day of, day of class. school. Yeah, first day of class. Probably what I think of you now. Kind of funny, quirky, a little awkward, standoffish, but that's, you know, your endearing charm. Wow, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I remember you being very like, not in a conceited way, but like about yourself. Like, oh yeah. You were like, my birthday is this day in December yeah. 18th? 19th. 19th? Okay, yeah. I was so close. Yeah. Yeah, December 19th, you know, and you're like, mm -hmm. are you gonna get me anything for my birthday? Or like, you're like, one week till my birthday, you know? So yeah. just kind of being like a cheerleader for yourself, I think yeah. is important. Yeah, so, I appreciate it. It's funny, because now as an adult, I'm always like, I'm not conceited, I'm confident. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all the drugs you have done, or take a shot. I've only smoked weed. What about you? See, that wasn't, that, it wasn't here, like. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Let's be truthful. Truth or drink? Which one? Okay, you Go ahead. Drink. It's okay. We're family here. You're not gonna tell me. The biggest problem is I'm still an educator. <laughs> if I'm trying to get jobs. So lame. <laughs> now that you're older and wiser, ooh, what is some life advice you can give me? Definitely always staying true to yourself. The worst people can say is no. Like ask for things. Name a dream of yours that you've made come true. A dream of mine? Having my own classroom. That, Sweet. That's number one, having my own classroom. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I love that for I you. I appreciate that. What have you learned from me? Hmm. You're doing a damn long time. It's because I want to say a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, it really wasn't until I was maybe in college where I had friends that were gay, friends that were trans, and it's another level, I think, to have students who are because you really just want to make sure like you feel loved and accepted and like a sense of belonging. And so I think I learned, I just expanded as a person because of you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, was it supposed to get that deep? <laughs> What's the biggest lesson I've taught you? Get uncomfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm, yes, that is one of my favorites. I used to hate math, as you know. I hated my teacher, I didn't show up. I used to cuss that man out. Uh-uh, me and him was not friends. Mm -hmm. And you're like, but you got this is something you gotta do. Mm -hmm. And so like, you gotta do it, so you gotta figure out. You gotta figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's crazy, we haven't talked in like so long and that conversation was so long ago and you talking about it put me right back there. <laughs> right at your little desk. <laughs> My little desk. <laughs> Why have black people do that? <laughs> or your little friends. <laughs> it's like my desk was substantial, all right? Yeah, it had a little L shape. <laughs> it did have a little L shape. It was nice. It was nice. What's something you're self conscious about? Are you working on it? Maybe not self conscious, but the constant warring between my brain and my emotions. I'm very much a, I'm a ruminator. So if something doesn't go well or right, I, it sticks in my head. Are you going to ruminate about this? 
Um, probably not. This yeah. is a this is yeah. a net, this is a net positive experience. I had fun. Hooray! <laughs> good job. Was that fun? This it was. was fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. I would probably take some of these questions and like ask you more about them now that we've already like talked about it. Yeah, they're good conversation starters. Yeah. No, yeah. this is definitely get out your comfort zone. Yes. Do something new. Yes. Um, buy the game.